And every single day, this little boy come, where is daddy? When is he going to come save us? When is he going to come on my birthday? When is he going to come on Christmas? When is he going to tell me he loves me? When is he going to bring me a present? And he never shows up. So at 14 years old, he did what any 14-year-old did. He asked for some stuff. He wanted that video game. He wanted those jeans. And that hardworking mama got in those video game, got in those jeans, and then got booted out of that one-bedroom apartment. So he stood there beside Sue Ellen, beside Tiffany. And he too thought, I'm going to break this cycle. I don't want to be like that daddy. I want to protect my mama. I want it to be better. And in that moment, that, that moment that was literally just a few seconds, it changed everything. Because then I realized I can ask questions of each and every one of those kids. And if they stand on that line, that's where the healing's going to start. Because they're going to identify, this is who I am. So they went back. And the questions continue. So some of the other questions I asked my students were questions about alcoholism. And they all came out. And that alcoholic might have been a mom who'd come on hard times. It might have been a boyfriend who polished off a bottle of Jim Bean and then bashed a head against the wall. It might have been an older brother. It might have been a deadbeat dad in a corner drinking out of a brown paper bag. But my kids had learned about alcoholism because it's funny. People can get really, really high and fun or they can crash and burn. So my kids learned how to walk on eggshells, not to wake up that sleeping giant, because if they did, fisticuffs, and someone was going to go down, someone was going to get popped, and it usually was them. So as my kids stood on that line about that question, they all knew. They all had that secret. They all had those scars. I asked a question about drugs, and they came. And my kids knew who was slanging, who was tweaking, who was losing their teeth, who was losing their minds. They know. You know. They knew where to go, where not to go. They knew who they kicked it with in elementary school, middle school, and now who was doing a hard time. And sometimes we laugh because it's uncomfortable, but when the laughter starts and you really start thinking about, I'm tired of burying a friend. I'm tired of seeing my buddy being locked up. I'm tired of seeing somebody go crazy because they're high as a kite and they can't come down. So even though my kids came, there was that fear is I don't want to go back to that place. I don't want to be like my buddy rotten in a cell. I, I hope that you get to have the stuff that my kids have experienced. To take all of the experiences you've had that brought you here, and you're going to be stronger, and you're going to be better, and you're going to get out there and you're going to meet some cute little girl. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to think that you are her knight in China. Aww. She's going to think you are the smartest, sweetest, most rico suave guy she's ever right. met. <laughs> but I, I want that for you. I want that for all of you. I want that for you. I want you girls to be giddy and silly and put on way too much makeup and your skirt's a little too short. And get whatever you do, um, whatever you need to do to feel who you are. Um, because many of you don't feel that way here. Many of you guys haven't found your, your happy place here. But I've been to a lot of these places. My kids came from here. I can't tell you how many judges I stood before, how many probation officers I've had bribe. I can't tell you how many fights I've had to fight for my kids. And they made it, despite the judge, and the jury, and the probation officer, and the ankle monitor, and the, the juvenile hall, and the boot camp, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They made it. And I think and I hope that each and every one of you can too. There, this was a bump in the road. You did some stupid shit. Get over yourselves. Okay? Get over yourselves. Get over that moment. And use that to move on.